Hey, Aries, welcome to May. <laughs> Charlie's like, oh no, she's talking to that box again. <laughs> Charlie pants, Charlie pants. Sitting behind me. Good boy. All right, let's see where we go here, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. If this doesn't resonate for you, it's not for you. Check out your moon, rising, or Venus sign. Just be like, is this for me? It is or it isn't. Okay, there might be one or two sentences in here. So just, if it's not for you, just set it aside, okay? This is not about triggering anybody. This is not about anything like that, okay? So, all right, okay. Let's see where we go here. Aries, time for a nap. Charlie's like, I'm in. I'm all in. Tick tock. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> TikTok and Unfinished Symphony. I feel like you've been sleeping, um, meaning not really doing what you're supposed to be doing about a relationship, okay? Um, I feel like you're procrastinating a little bit about doing something, and that is um, things are still unfinished. Things are still not where they need to be. Uh, I feel like you might need to take some kind of action. I mean, you are Aries after all, even if it's sun, moon, rising, or Venus, whatever. You do have some Aries and we are still in Aries time here. TikTok makes me feel like there's a, there's some kind of time limit on this experience. So what, no matter what the situation, we kind of ask the universe, what am I supposed to learn in this situation? I feel like right now it's about um, learning how to release the patterns of procrastination, delaying tactics, um, things that are distractions. I, I really feel like that's been, you've been sleeping on the job for quite a long time here. Okay. And there's something that really needs to get done. It might be really tough to do. That's why you're not doing it. Okay. Three of wands. That's why it's been like, okay, well maybe tomorrow, not doing it today. Seven of cups, page of wands. Four of Cups, Death, Ace of Wands. Okay, this feels more focused to me. Okay, Page of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and Queen of Cups. I feel like there's somebody here. It could be Scorpio, could be Sag. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Sag. Um, and I, I just feel like you're manifesting, you're wanting to manifest something, but you're not taking some kind of action that's going to bring that manifestation into being okay so part of manifesting is you know we daydream and we you know ask the universe and we pray and we release patterns and we do all this stuff but at some point you're gonna have to put one foot in front of the other and do this okay and I feel like you are kind of like a little bit in this daydreamy kind of place a little bit like well, I can't do it because of this, that, and the other thing. I'm really just going to sit and stew in what's going on right now. I'm not really going to take any action. And I, I feel like you're headed for a little bit of a of a, um, a situation where you're either getting very inspired by somebody, like a, a third party, to get up and do something. All right, you're getting inspired by this. I also feel like the other people are playing a role, like maybe children are playing a role or something like that. And that is what your reason is for not taking some kind of action. All right. So you've turned your, you know, you've turned your back to expect the thing you're manifesting, but there's still stu something stuck in the way of that truly coming to fruition. Okay. This is on your path, by the way, this is a, a faded and destined thing. I feel like there might be love coming in here and I feel like this person's not fully able to show up in your life until you move this other thing away. All right. Whatever this other thing that you're not uh, focused on. Wow. That was interesting. Another page. Okay. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Sun. Um, in order to be happy, you're going to have to do this. What is it? 
getting out another relationship, ending another relationship. Yes, it, that's like, oh, I don't want to go through this because then I'm going to be, it's going to be scary. It's going to be difficult. Um, but what's happening is your life is becoming um, stagnant. Okay, this Four of Cups is very stagnant energy. And I, I feel like the new thing is like you want the new love, the happiness more than you're afraid of doing whatever this is. At some point, there's a tipping point here. Okay. And you could be dealing, like I said, with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or a Sag, or a Leo, fire sign or a water sign. Okay. Or both. This could be a, a bit of a love triangle where, um, it's almost like, um, you may not know what to do, but I feel like you have to figure it out. You have to learn this. You have to understand how to, so if you're, for example, so if you're leaving another relationship in order to bring in that, which is happiness and joy, you're going to have to learn how to address the situation communicate what you want, stick to your guns, um, work through the ending of something so that the beginning of something can show up. I feel like this is right on your doorstep. Um, I feel like the universe has this, you know, it might have been in your face for quite some time. The universe is trying to bring in an Ace of Cups. And... There's some reason why um, there's some reason why Knight of Wands, High Priestess, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. I just feel like there's some fear. Let me put this over here. There's some fear about what's on the other side. And I, I, I do feel like you're walking towards something very happy and good for yourself. Um if you could just, you know, I almost feel like you don't know what the next step is. So it's like you're waiting for the universe to um, present that step. It's a little, that's a little bit of a procrastination technique. All right. You're, you're waiting and the universe is trying to present like this. Um, it's like a carrot and stick. The universe is literally with the ace of wands here. The universe is trying to present you with a purpose, a reason, okay? Because up until now, you might not have had any reason to leave this behind. There might have been, if this is a relationship, there might have been children or financial considerations or something like that. But the, the lesson here is about listening to your own intuition and taking action on that which there, there might be something here about a lifelong lesson of procrastination or a lesson of, you know, doing, paying attention to the lesson and then doing something. Because it's not enough to, oh, I see that these lessons are showing up for me. It's not really enough to just do something. I mean, to just see the pattern. You then have to take action. So it's kind of like a friend where you, if you've ever had this experience where a friend will dump on you, dump on you, dump on you, dump on you, and then you give them advice and then they never take any of it. Okay. And how does that make you feel? Frustrated, right? A little bit like, why are you even asking me this? And also you're using me as a dumpster. So if you are in that situation where I think you're having conflict around the fact that you're maybe conflict with this new person, if this new person is already on the scene, they're like, get your ass moving. Okay. Um, because I feel like this is a powerful connection, the 10 of cups and, and the sun showing up, but it can't really fully come in unless you walk away from the old thing, a job or career or something like that. Okay. So I'll look at fire signs and water signs in the extended. I'll continue on with this. This is happening in May. Again, Sagittarius showing up and Pisces showing up. Pisces and Sag here too. This is, um, this is about combining your intuition with your feeling. Well, well your feelings um, are showing you are your compass here. And, 
you know, you might have felt frustrated or felt stagnant or felt that way. And you might be thinking like, well, I'll just wait for the universe to give me a tower. And um, I don't know if the universe is going to do that. I think the universe is like part of the lesson is actually in the doing. Okay. Okay. All right. So link is below if you want to continue on with me and see what's going on for you for the rest of May. Um, okay, Aries, I'll see you over there.